Magic maths, a really good way for getting your child to think mentally, to use their written strategies and to really enjoy maths. The idea of magic maths is that we give the children a formula that they can then go around practicing on adults and children and impress them with their mathematical magical skills. The idea is that they have a range of different formulas and if you watch some of the other videos you'll see other form formulas floating around. This is a formula that's really going to impress those adults. So what you're going to do is you are going to practice on your child first show them how to do it and then set them free and allow them to work their maths magic. So you're asking the adult or your child to write down a three digit number where all the digits are different. So it has to be a number with hundreds, tens and units in it and all the numbers have to be different, okay? I wouldn't um, use decimals, just literally a whole number. So think about a number, any number you like. So I'm going to choose one, nine, three. Okay, now uh, you ask the person to reverse those digits. So reverse, three, nine, one. And then you're, all you're going to do, this is a great one for practicing subtraction, all you're going to do is ask that person to subtract the smaller number from the larger number. So we're going to set out a little um, sub column subtraction here. So 391, subtract 193. One take away three, we can't do, so we have to borrow. 11 take away three gives us eight. Eight take away nine, we can't do, so we have to borrow. 18 take away nine is nine. And two take away one is one. So our answer is 198. This part you're asking the adult or you're asking your child to do in secrecy. They are not to show you any of these calculations or any of these numbers. They're going to work that out on a separate piece of paper where you can't see because now we have the maths magic part. This is the opportunity for your child to then calculate or work out or magic the answer. So this is their little formula that's going to help them calculate the answer. And this is a really good one for place value. So the question they're going to ask is, what is the hundreds or units digit? And from that, they will ascertain what the answer is using this formula, because the answer, my 198, so here's my answer here, will always have a nine in the tens column, which it does, so that's a given. They don't need to ask anything about the tens column. They know that it's always gonna be a nine in the tens column. The hundreds and the units digit will also add up to nine. So the hundreds and the units, when they're added up, they will equal nine. Oh, sorry, wrong way around. One plus eight equals nine. So. The child will decide wh which one to ask, hundreds or units. So if I am pretending that I am using this magic maths formula, I'm going to say to the person, I won't know that their number is 198, but I'm going to say, well, what was your hundreds number? They will tell me one. So I will know that one plus something in the units has to make nine. So I'll know that there's an eight in the units. I already know that the tens number is always nine, so I'm going to be able to guess the number is 198 and imagine how impressed they're going to be with that. Let's just go through it again um, and go through the steps so that you can just see it in action again, but it is a really fun way and your child will really feel confident, it boosts their self-esteem and it is a really, really good activity for place value. So. Let's just go through the little process again. So you're basically teaching your child to be able to ask all of these questions and then come to their conclusion at the end. So you're asking a person to think of a three digit number, but all the digits have to be different. I'm going to choose a bigger number this time. I'm going to choose six, one, four. I'm going to reverse the digits to get four, one, six. Then I'm going to take away the smaller number from the larger number. And again, this adult is doing this in secrecy, 
okay? So 614, take away 416. Um, you will also be reminding your child when they're having a go at working this out that their columns need to be lined up properly in order to subtract accurately. So 4 take away 6 we cannot do so we have to borrow. 14 take away 6 is 8. 0 take away 1 we cannot do we have to borrow. 10 subtract 1 is 9. 5 subtract 4 is 1. So we are ending up with 198 again. You are now going to get your child to ask what is the hundreds or the units number. So that's where the, the place value really does come in. And they will already know that their tens number is always going to be a nine. And as you can see, it is. And then they also know that their units and their hundreds is always going to add up to nine. So all they need to ask is, what is the hundreds or what is the units number? So I'm gonna ask for the units this time. The person who has their answer in secrecy will tell me that their unit digit is eight. And then I will be able to calculate eight plus what makes nine, which is one. I know my tens number is nine, so I know that number has to be one, nine, eight. 198. Your child will really enjoy this. They will really enjoy challenging adults and working through and surprising them with their mathematical genius.